Internet, it's good to see you again. I'm Gunter and I'm with Mini Mishaps Games and today we're going to be taking a look back and reviewing the last couple of months as Mini Mishaps Games. So, you might have noticed that my sign-on catchphrase was a little different today. Uh, that's because I wanted it to stand out. And I think that uh, I have taken in some feedback. You guys have been amazing. And I'm trying not to say um and uh and like because that's going to be one of my New Year's resolutions. So I'm actually going to keep a meter of my ums, uhs, and likes. And uh and on, then when I'm in editing, and then ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. and then when I'm in editing, I will uh, I'll put the meters on. So, I have been focusing on myself and learning some skills, and see those ands and those sos, they gotta go too. Let's put those on the meter as well. Gotta speak confidently, gotta speak with, 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 with an entertaining air. That's going to be in a couple of things that I work on in the list coming later. But today uh, we are going to look at what skills we have, uh, we have, I have leveled up, uh, leveled up myself and gave myself uh, achievements that I've unlocked. Uh, uh, again, man, YouTubing is hard, videoing is hard. More on that later. And then uh, the things that we've been exposed to, gotten comfortable, more comfortable with for platforms and softwares uh, in our... Uh, we're going to go through leveling up and achievements, platforms and softwares, things that I'm working on that are going to be present in upcoming videos that include skills I have not leveled myself up in yet, as well as new ones that we want to give a try to. Uh, 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 oh man. It's okay, it's all real. It's all, it's all part of the, part of the experience. You get a behind the scenes look. It won't be uncut. I'll probably still edit it, but... But I want it to be as real an experience and entertaining as one for you as I can. Um, 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 I'll just put all the ums at the end. Maybe I'll do that instead of metering. So I'll tell you a little bit about how the channel's been doing for content and the feedback we've been giving, giving, given, the feedback we got from you guys, including my dry droning, boring, speaking with all my ums and uhs, and that's okay, that's a skill I gotta put in there as well. Uh, um, um, we'll talk about the uh, New Year's resolutions, including the one that I'm struggling with right now, and we'll just hit on a couple of long-term goals for myself and the channel. Let's dig right in. Starting with appreciation, that's you guys. We have seen subscribers and views and and impressions and everything way more than we were expecting uh, when we got started out here in our first couple of months. So thank you for that. Keep up the the uh, good work of sharing and liking and subscribing and doing all those things. Hopefully that'll be because our content's getting better, because I'm working on things like my presentation and trying to be more entertaining or feel more entertaining, be more excited on video about the things that I'm recording. All right, for leveling up, the skills that I have leveled up in the last three months or skills that I had that have never been assessed in this way before, um, the rules for leveling up is that I'm only going to allow myself each update to level up once in a category. 
So th even things that I consider I'm pretty comfortable, I'm only going to start at level 1 for today's update because it's the first one. We started painting. Oh, we should do our achievements first because then the leveling up will make more sense. So for achievements, um, the end of September we've got our first published RPG resource on Drive-Thru RPG. And then uh, at that same time we, we opened our first online store. On October 3rd I painted my first miniature and that started a lot of fun stuff, materials from that time. On the 15th of October I painted my first metal miniature. On the 29th of October, the channel had its first collaboration with uh, Frybox64. We did that unboxing of the Dungeon Crate video. Um, on November 10th, we did our first made-from-scratch crafted miniature, which was the Monster Bash uh, that we did thanks to Rack Rack's art and Berserker Works and... Nerdcraft HQ. There were four of them, so I will go back and find that and put that in the description who the fourth one is. I'm sorry for missing your video. There were four friends and they did this Monster Bash uh, kit and we, we used their designs to create a kind of loon mutant. On the... Do I do that a lot? That seems like a thing that I don't do smack my lips, click my tongue. Maybe I do, I gotta watch for that. We are at our first mini painting challenge, which was November 24th. We did the zombie cap, and that also got the first thematic base uh, achievement unlocked for us. And then when I'm recording this video, we don't have it back and painted yet, but we have done our first uh, 3D designed from scratch miniature as well. And hopefully by the time this video comes out, there will be a video of us painting that up and getting that next from scratch video out. Otherwise, it's coming soon. Okay, on to the leveling up. So the things that gained level one for our first assessment Painting accuracy, level 1. So this basically means on the miniatures that I've been painting, I have gotten better than I started at staying within the lines of a miniature. I uh, did washes level 1. That seems like a pretty easy one to level up, but uh, it was a skill that I had never been exposed to before. Video filming! That's, that's video editing and video filming both got their level 1. Uh, things unlocked and hopefully that uh, that all, all of that gets better as we get more feedback and as we we better the equipment and the lighting and my own pre stage presence for the RPG writing side we got our, our RPG written materials level one world building level one game master level one and homebrewing level one which all are things that I have been doing a ton of my whole life and now I'm just listing them in the um, starting process of assessment. So I'm, I have, I consider that I have gotten those three things up to at least level one. For platforms and softwares that we have started working with in this time, um, YouTube obviously, that's you guys. Instagram, we share some of our, our miniature painting there. Kickstarter, we did for our first uh, RPG resource for the uh, New Anfang Academy uh, Mandabarkian student. Uh, we've got Twitter, which I don't, I don't really tweet a lot. Most of the Twitter stuff is automatically shared from either Facebook or Instagram um, or YouTube, one of those. Drive Through RPG, as I mentioned before, that's our publishing platform for our written materials. Facebook, we've got a page and a group. The group is basically for many painters, artists, and anyone in enthusiastic about the art side. And then the page is all encompassing for all the nerdy stuff that we do. Uh, we set up Patreon and Buy Me a Coffee. That was, those two are fairly recent, so people can support us with dollars. 
and that helps out a ton and we appreciate our our supporters uh, the software that we use to create most of our videos is Final Cut Pro and the stills and, and marketing materials are mostly designed in Apple Pages. We use notes for things like this video's uh, um, list of things that I have, topics I have to cover. And then most recently vidIQ we have added to help us with some of our metrics and analytics with regards to the videos. So thing so 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 I said so so many times. This is this is hard. This is legit hard. And I have to give props to all the YouTubers out there that either do this make it look natural or have it actually come naturally. I have I have a harder time. Um, um, it is not as natural for me, and that's something that I am going to work on, and I hope you will help me and support me in that. Things coming up for topics. The painting has been amazing. I want to up that by adding the skills of layering and highlighting. Those are ones that I did attempt and didn't consider myself to level up to level one for those so coming soon hopefully um and that kind of makes us i'm not sure if these updates will be twice a year or quarterly or once a year but uh but hopefully by the next update we will have layering and highlighting as at least things at level one clay sculpting is another one that we've attempted and just has not, I don't know if I don't have the right tools or the right talent, but I didn't get that one up to level one. Um, we only had two or three, maybe four projects where I had to do any clay sculpting. Mold casting is one that I actually consider myself to be higher than level one, but don't have any of the materials or the resources to get the materials at present, so we don't, haven't done any mold casting. Um, we could try, I guess, some things like using Play-Doh or things that we have around, but we haven't so far. 3D printing is not at level one. Um, I had a 3D printer in the early days of the when they started being able to be in the homes, and I got pretty good at creating STLs and converting them to slices and sending them over to the printer, but I've gotten away from it. I don't remember any of them. I don't know how to use the softwares anymore. So. That will be something that will be down the line when there's a 3D printer that we can use again. And then for presentation skills for you guys, for the videos, uh, for that, those skills that I'm hoping to be working on and leveling up are going to be the public speaking, comedy, and maybe voices impressions, which is something that I wanted, to, I want to work on anyway for being a dungeon master and and uh, linguistics is what I studied in school so that should that's something that I'm interested in that we haven't spent any time on here on the channel but hopefully those layering highlighting clay sculpting mold casting 3d printing public speaking comedy voices and impressions are things that you'll get to see videos on in the next measured quarter maybe so as far as what have you guys enjoyed and content that you have been following, it seems like you guys like the montage videos the best. It gets the most number of shares and views and impressions. When we have a long string of, here's 30 minutes and 30 minis, 30 minutes, <laughs> 30 minis, 30 or more minis in 30 days, seems like uh, the type of thing that you guys are clicking on and liking the most so we will continue to do those for sure and we really appreciate any well we appreciate if you like something that you like it or subscribe at that time because it it really does help us put together the kinds of things that you guys want to see and that's what this is all about so that's not what it's all about it's all about me gaining new nerdy abilities and picking them in the order that you want to see them in is a better a better way of of saying that i guess and for new year's resolutions and new skills i am 
I listed off the skills that I want to try and work on. For New Year's resolutions, obviously I've got the same as, as a lot of people. I'm going to try and eat healthier and exercise more. And, and if I can find a nerdy way to do that and share it with you, I will. Otherwise, uh, hopefully I'll just appear more and more healthy on screen. Um, that's harder in the winter and it's harder during quarantine, but that's those things after a time become excuses. I have the resources and I have the training. I did uh, I did martial arts and dancing for a good portion of my life. I should be able to, to do some of that to, to get healthier. And um, and um, so long-term goals for the channel. Someday I would maybe consider trying to get a piece ready for a painting competition. So that might be a a several videos over time process of that and I want to get more active with the Facebook communities I know there's a ton of painting miniatures Facebook groups I want to get better at sharing I, I know I make videos on a lot of things but the there's a lot of time that I I don't see the video while it's recording and so you end up with just the shadow of my hands and I want to make videos that it's either my face talking or parts that I have added into the screen or that you actually are getting to see my hands working on the project that we're doing so changing the camera angles around finding spaces where we can do the projects those kinds of things I want to be on top of that and I want to I want to better the, the space as best we can so that is a lot of everything of what we're done so i know i probably was boring and droning but remember i'm just at the beginning stage of trying to train to be entertaining if that is such a thing speaking more confidently using less ums and uhs and and likes and so's thank you for sticking with and if you're still here at the end of this video Thank you again, and we'll keep you posted in the next update, which I'm thinking will maybe either be March or June. And keep painting, keep arting, keep nerding, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, Internet. Hey, I wanted to jump back on camera and let you know that I didn't forget about what I said at the beginning. I went back through and I said like five times. I said so 15 times where I didn't need to. And I said 24 times. Um, I said 26 times. And there was 40 times where I just said, uh, so now you know, you caught me. I caught me, and here's some bonus footage at the end of uh, a long, uncut uh, video. So, bye again.